This is me and my wife, Andrea, and we love transforming spaces. For the last six months, we've been in two other homes doing some of the biggest projects that we've ever put on YouTube. This is gorgeous. Oh. <laughs> but now it's time for us to step back into our own home and do several projects that Andrea has been dreaming of. So welcome to the adventures of my DIY wife and her non-handy husband. <laughs> You want to do it, Jude? Do what? Talk to the camera. Tell them what are we doing today? No, no, we're gonna go in the blind. <laughs> okay, it's a homeschool day, but I really want to paint tomorrow. We've got all of our school stuff done. I've got my helpers here. <laughs> They're gonna help me empty the shelves off. We don't have Dean here, but we don't need him today. We got these dudes. <laughs> Start getting the books. Oh yeah. Uh oh. Careful. Anyway. These two boys are gonna help me clear off these shelves so that hopefully I can get everything else done and ready to paint everything tomorrow. We challenged ourselves to see how quickly we could clear these shelves off and we were all a little bit shocked at just how quickly we were able to complete it. How long did it take us, Jude? We're done? Barely over 20 minutes. That was like record speed. Basically, before I can paint, I have to have everything scrubbed really, really well. It's really dusty. Now that we pulled everything off, I look, I shrunk Dean. Shrunk Dean to be in the video for today. <laughs> so I've gotta clean everything off real quick. Not real quick, it's gonna take a while. And then I need to clean it with an actual degreaser cleaner, but I'll probably do that after we scrub them and dust them. And then I need to caulk everything. We still need to get baseboards in, so I'll caulk after that. <laughs> okay, that's it. Next, I decided to pull down this decorative piece above the window seat. While this piece is funky and fun, after leaving it for several years and really thinking on it, I finally decided to remove it because it just doesn't fit the vision that I'm going for. All right, it's a new day. Our kids are at school today, so it is a full work day. We had them here yesterday helping. We got all of the shelves emptied out. They actually wiped them all down for me because they were really dusty. I'm gonna do another cleaning with an actual degreaser today. But first, I wanna put some caulk on some of the trim here to get that drying before we go run some errands and then hopefully actually get to painting today. Even though this part is time consuming, caulking all of the edges just gives you a super clean professional result in the end and is worth every minute of time that it takes. You all done putting the mayonnaise on the walls? After finishing up the shiplap walls, I moved on to filling some of the gaps around the bookshelves. You all done with the mayo? Or was that marshmallow paste this whole time? Um, yes, can I get a couple of gallons that, to come pick up later today? Two gallons of the command paint in a satin finish in the color dark olive. Okay, and when do you want to pick it up? The sooner the better. I'll come back. Make sure I got it, find the card and everything, and I can give you a call back when you're Okay. Okay, awesome. Right. Thanks so much. This girl knows how to order some paint. Let me tell you folks, she's only done it about 4,000 times. Well, I'm getting smarter. They'll do that at the small paint store. I've waited a long time in the store while they mix the paint. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna start calling. All right, what next? Okay, so I finished the caulk just on the edges where I wanna tape it later because I want it to dry hopefully enough to be able to tape it. So next, I think I'm gonna work on finishing up the baseboards, see if I can kind of clean up this area where I pulled off that little decorative trim piece. And then after that, I've got a long list of random supplies we need to get this room ready to paint. So we'll head out and get all that stuff. All right, so first on that long list of little bitty tasks that need to be finished before painting is getting these boards out of this room. And there does happen to be a nice open window right here. So we tell the kids not to go out this window, but 
We're going to throw these boards out the window because it's going to be easy. Video. Okay, well, when we get to this part in the video, we're going to skip it forward. And if any of you know our kids, if you could just not let them know this is taking place, that'd be great. Thank you. There's no quiet way to do that. It's kind of fun now. Let's keep that between us, okay? Don't tell our kids. After a quick sweep, I started getting ready to cut and install the baseboards. I was able to keep all of the same baseboards on the shiplap walls. I just needed to trim them down a little bit to fit. my saw. What? Need my saw. Yeah. We're getting stronger. This thing never gets any lighter. Mm -mm. That's good right there. Actually, could you like move it that way two feet? No. <laughs> Just set it down gently. Don't throw your weights down. I think Rocky used this in his training, you know what I mean? <laughs> I needed to add a new baseboard where we removed the rock climbing wall and I plan to build a ladder so the kids can access the platform so I cut a gap in the baseboard where I'll attach the ladder to the wall. I had all of my baseboards cut. I attached them using my nailer and then we got a phone call. Okay, thanks. Bye. Things ready. All right, let's get out of here. All right, we have a few errands to run and the first stop is the paint store to pick up the green paint that I already called in. It's ready, so we're gonna pick that up first. All right, where to next? Home Depot, make some paint. Oh, up. no way. <laughs> Are we dragging a little bit today? We're dragging just a little bit. The weather doesn't help. It's so dreary. Do you ever just have those days when you're feeling just too poop to whoop? You know, it's more like whoop. You know, that's kind of what I feel like today. I don't know about you. Oh, yeah. It's usually a day when we have a lot planned, too, yes. or a lot of work planned, like, you know, painting an entire player. <laughs> it's like, all right, we've got this big work day. The kids are at school. Let's really go at it. And then we're both like, Ugh. that's all right, we're getting it done. It's always a great day at Chick-fil-A. Hey, look, they got lemonade now. That's awesome. At Home Depot, I grabbed everything else we needed to get the room ready to paint. Alright, we're heading back to the house. We're heading back. Back to the house. Alright, so I went ahead and sprayed crud cutter on all of the shelves and the built-in bench over here just to get rid of any kind of dirt and oil that's left after we wipe all the dust off. So I'm gonna go ahead and give them another good scrubbing and then after that, I'm gonna be lightly sanding everything and we get asked this question a lot, why would you clean it before you sand? And really the answer is you don't want to sand and rub in all the dirt and oils into you know whatever surface you're working on. I always like to wipe it first, then sand it lightly and then use a tap cloth or a damp rag to then wipe any more loose dust that you've sanded it off. Anyway, so another tedious task. I'm gonna put in a podcast and get to work.
While Andrea was busy doing her boring task, I decided to follow her around and help with the cleanup doing a boring task of my own. I'm finally done. After cleaning and then sanding and vacuuming and then wiping again with a tack cloth, I started working on masking off the windows. Y'all done? <laughs> with the windows. I just remembered I still have a little bit of trim work to do. I'm gonna cut some one by threes that are gonna kind of finish off the window where it was just a little bit weird because of the little decorative piece that I pulled down. So I need to cut those, nail those in. I still have some more caulking to do. And then I'll finish masking everything off. My goodness, this is like- The job that <laughs> never is. I mean, I know this. It's like your paint prep is usually like a full work day. A full, really boring <laughs> work day. We'll get to painting that. eventually, maybe today, hopefully. But that's all right. We're gonna make this video really exciting. Yeah, this is the paint prep video. Put the music on. <laughs> paint prep video. Whoa, that sun came out. When I pulled off the decorative piece that went above the window, it left some weird gaps in transitions that I fixed by putting a one by three board all the way from the top down to the floor. Like a glove. I'm gonna need you to clean this up again. Get that back in there. I'm using my seven year old's hammer in case anybody was wondering. It's miniature. All right, what next? We need to clean up the mess I made and then finish caulking and then finish masking off. It's almost time to pick up the kids, isn't it? What time is it? We've got one hour. Do we have a whole hour? One hour. That's probably not enough time to get started painting. <laughs> what were we thinking? I don't know. I'm pretty sure with the last paint project, I was like, I'm not doing paint anymore. I don't want to paint anymore because it's so much work. And here you are again, painting. Not that much longer. All right, let's get her done. Hungry, hungry hippos, go! Is that the squatty technique? Yeah. You're pretty good at that. <laughs> Once I finally finished the rest of the trim and caulking, I started masking off the rest of the room. It's a new day. I didn't paint yesterday. <laughs> the masking off takes way longer than I think every single time, but now I have all the contents of the playroom out of here and so it's a mess everywhere else. So we are taking an editing day and I'm painting. I've got a little bit of masking off left to do. Actually, it's probably not a little bit. I need to completely cover the floors, tape around the edges, finish a little bit of the ceiling, restick some of the stuff that's falling off, and then we will finally paint. I started paint day by filling in all of the nail holes on the shiplap and the trim that I had forgotten about. Next, I started covering the floors using this thick paper and painter's tape around the edges and like everything else in paint prep, this took way longer than I thought it would. taping 
everything off. It took forever. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and give everything a wipe off with some tack cloth just because I can still feel a little bit of the dust on there and you do not want any dust. These are cheap. They make a big difference. Oh man, textured ceilings are annoying. I can see my stuff already coming down. <laughs> I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be touching up some paint. And just when I thought I was finally done, I remembered I had a little more taping to do. I will go ahead and say that I wasn't super happy with how this tape and plastic worked and in my experience, a higher quality tape and paper has worked much better. Oh shoot, look at this feeling. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. I haven't even started painting yet. I quit. This tape, this tape is, well it's not the tape, it's probably these super textured ceilings. This is part of the annoying part of an old house. I love our old house, but People have just added layers and layers of texture over the years, and now too textured to stick anything to. You got this. Ugh. It's like falling down as I take it. Paint for all this plastic falls off. Oh yeah, getting the paint suit back out. Well, I got a new one because I accidentally got like the double XL last time, <laughs> so it's too big and it like made it rip in the crotch. No, no. Oh my gosh! Oh, little footsies. Look at that. Oh my cute. gosh. My feet are too big for these. <laughs> what? What is this? It's like toddler size. Look at, like this is the bottom of the foot. <laughs> Seriously, like a seven-year-old shoe size. It's a little bit warm. I'm glad I'm not painting outside. Yes, yeah. astronaut Andrea Davis is ready for lift. Wow, it's warm. We gotta move quick. <laughs> Again? <laughs> Round three? No, like five or six for this bit, man. Yo! You put gloves on this time so I don't have to spread my hands. I actually think I'm just going to paint the ceiling. Once I finally had all of the tape in place, I started spraying on the dark green paint and it was so exciting to finally see it going on. All right, I just finished the first coat of paint. It's looking really good. I paint all over me. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna need another gallon. I forget that when you paint built-ins like that, it uses a lot more paint just because there are so many surfaces, you're spraying so many directions, it's a, there's a little more waste. So I'm gonna call the paint store and get another gallon of paint while that dries and hopefully we can get that second coat of paint in later today. Um, yes, I had picked up some Command Paint yesterday and I needed another gallon. Satin Command Paint in the color Dark Olive. All right, thanks. Bye. All right, so Andrea's taking a lunch break and I am gonna go pick up the extra gallon of paint. Now, I've heard some rumors that there might be some free barbecue at the paint store. I'm gonna have to go investigate. Well, it's a little disappointing. You know, the sign on the desk said that it was customer appreciation day and there's barbecue from 11 to one. It is now 12.55, but he didn't offer me the barbecue and I just didn't have the boldness to ask. Like, hey, y'all still doing the barbecue? So I'm out, I'm out of here. I'm going to Chick-fil-A. After the first coat of paint was thoroughly dried, I sprayed a second coat on the entire room. good all right second coat is dried if you can't tell it's dark but we're gonna go ahead and pull all the plastic off and this is like the really fun part because now most of the hard work is done and it is looking 
pretty good, pretty different. <laughs> It's always so satisfying to pull off all of the tape and plastic and get a first look at the result of all of your hard work. Just wait for yourself. What is it? So that looks so pretty. I love that with the door. It makes me smile. <laughs> Smash it. Let me help. Wrestle that anaconda. It looks so different. It makes our floors look really different. You might need a bigger bag there, darling. Did you tell me I can't do it? I did. <laughs> Never tell Andrea she can't do it. Challenge accepted. All right, so can we tell the friendly people out there the real reason why we had to do this at dark after the kids were in bed instead of tomorrow? Because somebody couldn't wait. Oh. Yeah. Alright, are you satisfied with your work? I am. I'm tired too. <laughs> Well, incredible job painting in there this week. It is a massive job, not only the preparation, but the painting itself, and you absolutely crushed it. Yeah, like every other week in my head, I was like, oh yeah, I can do like all the prep, all the painting in one day. But this time, especially with painting, I feel like there were just so many extra little details that I kept forgetting about. Like, I need to add a dish trim, and I still hadn't taped this, and then this tape is falling off again for like the 30th time. <sighs> it was just like, it felt like it was never going to end. But now that it's done, it looks, the paint looks so good. I'm so happy with the color. It has completely transformed that space. The kids love it. They're like, mom, this looks so good. And we hope that gives you kind of a real life scoop of what these projects look like. They don't all happen in a snap. I mean, there are so many steps to every room transformation. And if you want to see a space transformed, you got to put in the work. You're going to reach a point where it doesn't feel glamorous, but always in the end, you get a second win. You start to see it come together and that's when it all pays off. Or you can get really smart and you just hire somebody else to do it. Hey, that works you know too. What? Just hire it out. That works too. So be sure sure to stay tuned as next week we are finishing off this space. Andrew is going to be building a rolling library ladder which is super cool. Can I just say I wanted to build a rolling library ladder for like 10 years now and I finally am doing it. A dream come true. <laughs> and of course she'll be giving the room all of its finishing touches and it's just turning out incredible. So we will catch you in the next episode. Bro, could you chill? We are filming a YouTube video over here. My goodness. Shabby dop, bobby dop, mommy dop, job and bee bop and bee bop and jubbumpy doo. Yo! If it rains, I'm gonna run outside in my willy nillies. <laughs> That's not what I meant to say. What are willy nillies? I don't know. I, I just meant I'm gonna go run out. Are you out. filming? Don't put that in. <laughs> <laughs> Free Willy! <laughs> Did you fart in a weird Whoopsie! Oh my gosh. Whoa, boy. I think I was a little bit overdue. Oh, so. hey! Good thing we're changing that air filter. Good job, good job, good call, good call.